Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am doing something kind of weird today, but it's something that I saw the other day and I could not get out of my mind. So have you seen those viral videos of like people doing, putting like these really long eyebrow hairs on people and like, it's like eyebrow extensions. And I was like, what in the world? Like, it looks so crazy, but then I was like, actually, we do hair extensions, we do eyelash extensions, why would we not do eyebrow extensions? It's actually an incredible idea because pretty much in every single makeup that I do, I do a little touching up of my eyebrows because I just don't love my eyebrow shape. I don't think that they are as nice or thick as I want them to be, so I'm like, why not just try it? So. That's what I'm doing today. I just got these like weird eyebrow hairs from Amazon, honestly. And it, it looks just like it would like an eyelash extension kit. Um, I'm really scared because I've never done this before. And it says over and over again, like only do if you're an expert, only do if you're an expert, but whatever. Um, I do also have acetone because I heard that this is like the only thing that will get this off your eyes. So we're just gonna like do this together and try to figure it out. So I'm kind of scared, but I'm gonna do it. So let me show you what I'm doing here with the glue. You have to like clip the glue. So I'm just gonna open up the glue. This is like not coming off. Do I have to poke it? You have to like poke it. I'll like stick it with this. Oh, it worked already. Okay, I just put a tiny little like dab of glue. Like that much, not much. And I'm just gonna start like right here. Just placing some to bring my brow out a little bit. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna start there because that seems like a risky place to start. I don't know how to do this. I'll actually start with this little gap right there that I plucked in my eyebrows the other day. Let's start with that. I'm picking up a little lash off here. Not much. Just literally one little lash. Dipping it in the glue. I think I'm gonna need more because like I didn't really cover anything. Like that many and like see if that'll just a little dab of glue I don't really know how long I'm supposed to wait it says it dries very fast definitely covered up doesn't follow the line perfectly but it's not bad okay now I feel like I'm ready to try down here I'm just gonna start filling in this little area here of brows so because I'm trying to like make take out this little thing here I think it's looking pretty good I mean I'm pretty impressed by the ease of this um yeah this glue dries really fast too like it's really impressive like I'll keep a, I'll keep you guys updated, but I would be super sad if like this was all for naught. Like I do all this and tomorrow I'm like, I went to sleep and I woke up and they had all fallen off. Like that would suck really bad. Come on little hairs. but like I'm gonna start here because this is the part of my eyebrows that I want the most like coverage I really want that like fun thick look and that's the part that I'm like the most scared of is like doing here so 
And I'm trying to like craft out exactly where I want the hairs, but I'm gonna kind of just, I feel like I have to hold the tweezers differently, like going to this part of my eye. Boop. And also there's like a ton of different sizes, but they really don't make that big of a difference. There's like five millimeters, like this is an eight millimeter. I don't think it's gonna really like make a difference. I think definitely like could. I guess it is a little bit longer. on the tweezers is starting to like. This is super tedious. Okay, fun part, my camera died, but uh, I just was filling in a little bit more here. And what I've realized is that I wanna be even bushier just because I can. Like I really wanna see how all out I can go with it still looking natural. So at this point, I'm gonna just kind of go ham and place some really long brow hairs in places and let's see how crazy we can get. That's kind of weird, but I, I like the hairs that are sometimes kind of like scraggly. You know, like they're just like coming out, like, and I think it just shows like the untweezed look like having lots of random little hairs. I also wanna try to remove like any arch the best that I can, cause I kinda like a flat brow look. Oh gosh, I haven't even tried raising my eyebrows. It feels kinda tight. <laughs> so now I'm just using like the eight millimeter ones, like the super long ones. That's the vibe, sis. Like these are gonna get kind of itchy. I'll be honest, the glue kind of feels like super glue. Like if I'm not mistaken, this is the same kind of glue I use on my fingernails. So I'm gonna be kind of upset if the company is straight up branding like super glue as eyelash glue. I mean, I know you gotta make a profit, but I'm a little bit afraid. I'm actually impressed. The eight millimeters, they're actually pretty long. Like they actually look good. I feel like I need some more hairs like up here, like a really long one. It's actually like this whole process isn't as difficult as I thought it was gonna be. Oh yeah, those like scragglies at the top make a big difference. I'm gonna try to stick it with the tweezers again to try to get some more to come out. That worked. I'm not gonna be doing this for too much longer, so. I love that I was able to like literally cover up the zit that I had right there. That's a new trend. If you don't, <laughs> You don't like anything under your face, just add eyebrow hairs. Literally have like hairs glued to my nose. Then I think I'm gonna call it a night because I could be doing all this stuff and who knows if this is even gonna stay. So let's do some finishing little touches and see what happens from there. There are definitely a couple places where I put too much at one time and they're kind of darker than the rest. But I don't think like, it's being super picky. Like I don't think anyone's gonna really see that. I mean, can you? 
Probably. Like, do you see how like some of them are darker because I put too many hairs? Yeah, that's my worry. But I'm doing okay. Yeah, I think for now I'm done. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna vlog this tomorrow. I'll tell you how they held up overnight and then kind of how many days until they actually start falling out. So I'll keep you updated. Okay, it's the next morning and actually sleeping on the eyebrows, I wasn't too careful, you know. I did kind of, you know, let my face smush against the pillow. It all looks actually pretty good. Uh, I don't have any kind of eyebrow makeup or gel or anything. This is literally just what I did last night. Um, so a couple came off. I will say this, if they're not actually stuck to like hair hair, they're not that hard to come off. Like I didn't even need to use the acetone. Um, I had a couple that I just kind of plucked, cleaned up here and they came out pretty easily. So it's not super, super permanent. I will update you again tomorrow and when I feel like they do start coming out. But as of right now, if I'm just looking in the mirror, you know, they look pretty similar to what I did yesterday. So let's just get another close up. Feel like all the spots are looking pretty good, but I'll keep you updated. I wanted to film a little PSA because I just washed my face really hard in the shower and what I found is that if you're using a washcloth, you have to be really careful because what I found is that the fibers of the washcloth like stick to some of the glue parts and it actually ripped out this little clump that I had here just because it like attached to it. So just be very careful. I probably wouldn't use a washcloth anywhere close. Just use like a tissue, do cleansing around, and then you can really scrub the rest because the rest stayed in, like it is waterproof, but just that one little clump was like, bye. So just be careful with that. It has been about a week since I put in these eyebrow extensions and I'll zoom you in really close. Overall, I would give it like, I would say like a seven out of 10. I mean, obviously you can see just over the days, little tiny parts start to fall out. Um, I did, didn't do any kind of touching up. Um, I really just wanted to truly see how it would hold up. What you'll see is that there are some little glue marks, but you'd have to look really close. Like after a couple days, I think the glue just started to dry up, get like dirt, debris in it. Uh, but honestly, you really can't tell, like this is a camera, this is pretty close, you can't see all that much. And what I think you could do too is just take a little bit of like eyebrow pencil or eyeliner and just dab any places the glue looks kind of white or kind of crusty. Uh, overall though, I really feel like this is a super feasible option if you're somebody who really, really wants the thick eyebrows. Um, I will say like I had more here and they, again, this is a more like the area that I touch more. The hairs that were like in the eyebrow, they stayed really well. Any hairs that like I put just to my skin in areas where I washed my face a lot, they didn't fare as well. But again, I think if you're just really careful, you can really make this last weeks if you want to. So. I really would recommend this. I've linked the product down below in the description just so you see the exact like type that I used. I know it comes in a couple different like colors and blue types and things. So I just put in the description the exact one I used if you wanna use that, but there's others you can look at too. But I hope this was helpful. Uh, I thought it was really cool to do. And again, I really would highly recommend it. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you felt like this was helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye.